Take it away, mister. Hello, Earthlings, and welcome to our first vlog. Hello. I am Sebastian, and this is my lovely girlfriend, Gemma. And we are most commonly known from the TV show Survivor. But we're going to start our new adventure here on YouTube. So if we could ask you guys to maybe follow us or subscribe, uh, it would help a lot. Or and like. Or yeah, like or like, whatever you want to do. But this is going to be our uh, next level of experimentation via social media. Um, okay, so the other day we released a picture um, on our Instagram account, Tarzan and Jen, if you don't know what it is. Give that a follow. Yeah, give it a follow. But you don't have to if you don't like us. But if you do like us, please help yourself. Hopefully they like us. Um, and we asked you guys, the fans, uh, if you had any questions. Because I know there's like, you know, literally every question on the planet. Yeah. What the heck we're doing? How do we become a couple? What the hell are we going to do next? So we pretty much left it on the table for you guys. And um, we got a few ready to go. Um, the You're first one, him? yeah, I'm gonna yeah. ask him to you, okay? okay? So, the first one we got is from Lauren M. Dot three. Uh, what was your favorite memory with each other on Survivor? Okay. Do you want to so, go? You can go first. Um, I really liked the helicopter ride. I really oh, wanted to go on the helicopter. Me too, actually. Yeah. I think the helicopter was my favorite one too. Definitely the helicopter ride because. Okay, first of all, it's over a Fijian Who doesn't want to go on a helicopter? Paradise. You're flying over the gorgeous tropical waters. Um, and you get to see all these cute little Fijian towns. And I think we were and just... And we got to do it together. Yeah, we falling in love they didn't secretly. Show. Again, they didn't show us. We yeah. were holding hands the whole time. Another thing with Survivor is they don't show a lot of our relationship on the show. And I know you guys are wondering, like, okay... How we met. When we started actually What happened? Yeah. yeah. So... Um, here's a question from Patrick underscore O2. Um, he said, how did you guys meet and how did your connection start? Uh, right off the bat, actually, before yeah. the game of Survivor. I think, um... It was a year ago today, actually. We boarded a plane to go to Fiji. and May 29th. Yeah, we all knew we were in a group. We all knew we were the 20 contestants, but we couldn't talk. And we got seated next to each other in seats 39J and 39K, which a lot of you have speculated what our tattoos mean. And we actually met there and we talked the whole 11 hours. The whole flight, okay? So our secretly. connection started out on the flight. We were strategizing, not really. We were just flirting um, by ourselves in the back of the plane. And ironically, our TVs on the back of the seats weren't working so it was a sign i had to talk to her i mean look at her she's like a freaking queen mm -hmm. she's so cute um but yeah it started off right off the bat and then even in ponderosa for the first five days we weren't allowed to talk i was like slipping her gummies and writing her notes and i think Obviously we did a couple gummies. of uh colored books or you know we were, we were some doing some cute stuff other. okay so it started off right off the bat yeah um we got a couple other questions. Ooh, this guy, and his name is Swifttail River Clan. He wants to know what Sebastian's spirit animal would be. Ooh, oh, that's a good one because yeah. I give everyone spirit animals and no one's ever given me one. So I'm gonna let the only other person in the room, Miss Jenna, okay. give me my spirit animal. His spirit animal, only because somebody tweeted it. It was a pick stitch. He oh looks God. like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. Oh, yeah. And he also said I look like Sid's... Sloth. He said I look like Sid's girlfriend, so that's pretty fitting. You know the hot tub scene from Ice Age, the first one, when Where they're all the floppy bun? Yeah, that's... Yeah, okay, so we're <laughs> Sid the Sloth and Sid the Sloth's girlfriend together as a spirit animal couple. Okay? Um, okay, so we got another question. Did you fart? I haven't launched them all day, so... <laughs> Don't tell a good thing TVs and cameras don't show the smell, but it probably oh. smells in here. Um, okay, Katie Log94. When did you guys realize you were following for each other? That's different hmm. for each other. I knew I was falling for him immediately. I think on the plane when we were landing after 11 hours, I didn't realize it in my own head, but my body, like, it, I felt like I magnetically had to be like near him. And I think when we were landing, I looked out the window and I asked him if he would just marry me and if we could move to Fiji. 
and he said, I remember that. and he said, okay. So I think for me, it was more instant than him. Well, for me, I agree. You were like right off the bat, but it took, I was desperate. Sadly, it took me a couple of months, not months. Okay. It took the game. You didn't tell me this. You so it took me a little bit of time to start realizing that I was, it takes a little bit to figure out you're in love with someone, right? So I think after the game had finished and she had come to my house all the way in Florida from Michigan at the time, she was living in Michigan, um, she came down to visit me and I was like, okay, this girl is legit. She came halfway across the world to see me twice. Halfway across the world. Whatever. She came <laughs> she a long way, okay? And I think it was after that first trip to see me in Florida that I was like, okay, this chick, I am falling for her. <laughs> and we've been long distance ever since. Yes. Uh, another popular question is like, how do you guys stay so cute as a long distance couple? Because I live in Florida and Jenna lives in California for the entire... For now. Yeah. Well, for now. Um, but for the entire past year, we've lived 5,000 miles from each other or however long it is. 2,000 miles? Three, I don't know. Like, I Some three. sort of 1,000 miles away from each other. Um, but it's, it's easy, you know, you just have to be dedicated to the FaceTime, which is pretty much how we stay connected and anyone can do it. You know, you just have to have the motive and you have to be truly in love with someone to just be that far apart from each other, but be that close to each other at the same time. So if you have a fur, if you have a long distance relationship that you're struggling to make work, don't stop because it's well worth it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, Survivor Genius wants to know, would you guys go on the Amazing Race? Yes, obviously. 100%. If there's a question, if we would go on any TV show together, the answer is absolutely yes. Survivor, Blood vs. Water. Survivor, Amazing Race, literally anything. I think we're generally made. I really want to go on Kevin Hart's for new things like that. Yes. Wipeout show too. So if anyone, anyone has, has connections, let's do it. Let's get us going, okay? Because. Also, that Kevin Hart, if you want to marry badass. me, I'll leave him for you also. Babe! We'll talk about that later. But I think Kevin Hart's cute too, so who really cares? Maybe we can make it a three-way. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Hart would be a nice guy to have as a third lover. What else we got, babe? Um, what was your first impression of each other? And who's that from? Riley, Riley Jackman. Jackman. And also, I think this is... A commonly asked question for a lot of people is, uh, what was our first impression? Uh, I think for me was like, you know, who is this RBF walking down the plane mm -hmm. lane, coming like she wants nothing to do, with no, you know? Mm, mm, oh. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, this like. chick is actually kind of hot, and I hope she sits down next to me. So my initial reaction was hot, but probably a bitch. I'm sorry, Fair. babe. That was my Fair. first reaction. Fair. Mine was he was he has like a, a built upper body, but like tiny mm. little legs, and he had on a big sweatshirt so you couldn't see his body, and then he had, he had little chicken legs, and he had on like skinny jeans, and he had a hat and looked like a little skater. And then when he talked to him, he kind of has a funny high pitched voice. So I thought he was just like this cute little skater kid, you know, not really rugged, probably from like the city, smokes like weed in the subways type person. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But then when we got to Ponderosa and he took his shirt off and he was tanning by the pool and he was like clearly <laughs> ripped and he looked like Tarzan, all of that went out the window. All hope I, was lost. And I actually was serious about marrying him on the spot, so. Okay, well, I guess that's how it rolls, baby. Okay, um, we got a couple more. <laughs> um, this one's a good one. <laughs> I think this one's towards me. Yeah, this one's going to be asked for Jenna. Um, it's from Joey Warner. At Joey Warner says, Do you get jealous when Sebastian talks about Donathan? <laughs> For those of you that don't watch behind the scene clips on CBS, um, I had quite a few uh, interviews that had me, I don't know whether I was delirious or well, totally what. Delirious. Uh, totally delirious. But I kind of had this little thing going for Donathan. You had uh, a thing going? Well, I mean, I don't even know what I was saying half the time, but I called them uh, a snack. I called them these, all these kind of like candy references. I called them, I think called them a bundle of Easter candy or something. You want to nibble, like, yeah, you yeah, you wanna wanna nibble, nibble out of him or something So, like I can't answer this. Answer is absolutely not. Um, <laughs> Sebastian, 
Sebastian talks about everybody in the weirdest way. So you just kind of get used to it. That's how he is and that's what I love about him. So. I'm a weirdo. No, I think it's funny and I think it's endearing. Yeah, so... Um, and Donovan is a snack. Donovan is a cutie pie. Donovan I'm not going to even snack. lie. Anyone you know, looking for love, Donovan He's is, the man. He can dance. He can make you laugh. He's the best. He can take you to a delicious ass biscuit place in Kentucky. I know he can do that. He told me he was going to... That's our first date. So we already got that lined up. I don't know if Jenna's coming or not, but... Just kidding. Jenna's coming to everything because we do everything together. Um, so that being said, I think we have some exciting news to announce that Jenna and I will be driving across the country um, with all of her stuff in three, three days. Three days, yeah. With the U-Haul behind her Jeep and we're going to move her cute little cute huge ass uh, <laughs> on over to Florida and we're gonna live uh, the summer together in Cocoa Beach, Florida and fall deeper and deeper in love, right? We're gonna yeah. spend the days on the well, beach. Hopefully. Jenna probably is going to start working at just like at a local fruit stand. We're gonna eat healthy. Um, the plan is to get in shape. Not get that we're hot, not in get shape. In shape. Hot, tan, healthy, eat good. Just the whole Active. wrap. Active. I really want to learn to surf and be more comfortable in the ocean. I mean, uh, there's so many things that he does that I really want to learn to do and like so we can do side by side at least. It's going to be a fun ride and we just want all the love and support you guys have to offer. So thanks for listening to what we had to say today and uh, stay tuned for our cross country adventure. And pray that we make it because this one's driving. He already hit my car, reverse my car into two poles. I like to hit a lot of things with cars, but don't tell anyone that. Well, you just want to